to middle school for at least you know two years together, and you know while we didn't we weren't you know great friends then didn't really know each other very well you know uh, we didn't know who each other were, so uh, I guess that's kind of when it's, it all started. Clint, Clint was kind of lazy in middle school. He 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 didn't really uh, partake in any sports, but uh, he uh, he definitely picked that up when he got to high school. Me and Zach been competing since middle school when we played on the same football team and in high school when he went to Osborne Park and I went to Garfield. So we, we we all have a healthy sense of competition in that house. He got knocked down and knocked down from behind. Clint's a great player and I mean, I'm one of the few people who really knew who he was before he came in and I saw how he struggled when he first came in as a freshman. You know, switching from defensive line to linebacker position and uh, he had a hard time doing that. It was definitely different for me. Um, I think my red shirt year helped me a lot. I think it gave me a chance to work on my footwork a lot more and give me the opportunity to learn things and watch guys like Daryl Blackstock and Dennis Haley and understand what I have to do to make myself a better player. He's a smart player. Um, he's a common sense guy. I mean, a lot of the things that, you know, people like to, to look into so many discreet uh, aspects of the opponent's game plan and kind of outsmart themselves. Clint's going to look at the basics and, and, he, and he's going to not only, he's going to know some of those nuances, but at the same time, he also understands uh, the basics of just how to play football and recognizing formations. Some things that people kind of skip over these days with all the preparation that people do. Uh, he's a great guy, you know, he's, he's real friendly, he's real outgoing. Uh, he's, he's very animated and, and he's just exciting to be around, you know. He's always got uh, a joke about something and he's just, uh, he's very entertaining. I got a Clint Sinem quote book. Uh, some of the things he says, I like to write them down in a quote book. Uh, you know, just <laughs> misusing words or, or just funny things he says. And, and, you know, it's funny, somebody who plays the game that hard, if the remote control is, is on the other side of the table and you're in, in, you're in your room, he'll actually call you out of your room to come get the remote control and hand it to him. I don't know if I necessarily call him, but... Uh... I mean, if he's already standing in the remotes over there, I'll just ask him to hand it to me. He does, he does the same things, too. He calls me all the way from another room and asks me to come get something out of his fridge or something like that. Probably meat or steak, like usually eat. Toss sweep, Daniels. Daniels tries to cut it to the outside. Great run support by the Cavs. The, the one thing that's still debated to this day was who was the better high school player because we were both kind of the highly recruited players out of our area. And uh, to this day, you know, it's still disputed that I'm the better high school player. And, you know, he will doubt that. But if you go back and check the film, it does prove that I'm the better player from our game. I mean, obviously, Zach, Zach is a little delirious. But, uh, I mean, if Zach feels he was the better athlete, then I'm just going to say he was the better athlete. Um, I'm the better player now, so we'll just leave it at that. I think he started to realize his place on the team. He started to realize that a lot of the leaders that were here aren't here and that he is now starting to fill in one of those leadership roles and that he has to take over and kind of own up for his part of the team and uh, you know say his part when he needs to. It's his attitude that I think sets him apart. Um, he really loves the game, you know. We'll be in the hotel the night before the game and he'll just start yelling all of a sudden, you know, like we'll be watching a Thursday or a Friday night game and he'll just start yelling and just burst out in all this emotion. He's just like, can't wait to play. And it's just that, it's just that sort of that, that attribute about him. He loves the game.